All right, so as you guys can see, we have the OtterBox lineup for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So let's go ahead and start off with the Defender case. So here we have the case right here, and this one does come with the belt clip if you wanna use that. Um, so let's go ahead and just take that off really quick. And this is a dual layer case. And on the inside, you can see you have this drop protection here. Um, it's got like some memory foam inside of there. So you can see, you know, that's going to help as far as shock absorption. So let's go ahead and separate both layers. And just a quick tip, it does help if you start at these two spots right here on the side. So let me see if I can get my nail just kind of in there to separate it. There we go. And as you can, you can see, it starts to detach from the inner layer. And now we want to separate the hard layer. It splits into two halves. So you can see you have these little clips right here in different sections. So we're just going to kind of tug at those different clips and it will start to separate. As you can see, we got another one right there. There we go. So got the hard layer in two pieces and now we can grab our phone simply place it in there like so, and then reverse the process. You can see the clips snap back into place very easily, as you can see. And now we can slip it into the soft layer. You just wanna pull around the edges, make sure it wraps all the way around, and there we have it. So this is how it looks. You're getting that nice dual layer protection. Let's give you guys a close up of the screen there. So you can see you do have a nice little raised edge there to give you that protection for your display. If you were to ever, you know, set your phone face down, take a look at the back here at your camera protection. Again, a nice raised edge going all the way around there as well. And then one thing I always like about the um, Defender cases is that they have the protective flaps for your charging port, which is great as far as keeping uh, lint and debris out of there. So that's going to make sure, you know, you don't have any charging issues long term. And then you can also see you have your cutouts for your speakers. As far as the buttons, fully covered as you can see, but still very easy to press. No issues there. Same with the volume buttons over there. And then you have another protective flap for your switch. So you can just Pull that open like so if you need to use that. So let's go ahead and test out the wireless charging. We've got our wireless charging pad. And it instantly starts to charge. So no issues there. So as far as how the case feels, it has this nice rubberized texture, which makes it extremely easy to grip and hold on to. Um, so I definitely like that. And it's giving you that dual layer protection, which is great. Um, in case you were to drop the phone. And I feel like the overall size is still pretty decent considering that it is a dual layer case. I know a lot of people uh, tend to be concerned about the phone getting to be too big with a case on it, but I think this one is still pretty doable, even though it is a dual layer case. So that is the Defender case. Let's go ahead and switch over to the next case. Next up, we have the Commuter case. And this is also a two layer case. A couple differences compared to the Defender case on the inside. You'll notice that you don't have that memory foam padding like we did on the Defender case. And on this one, the inner layer is the soft layer and the exterior layer is the hard layer. It's a single hard layer on the exterior. So not quite as many layers involved with this case compared to the Defender case. So let's go ahead and get this one installed on the phone. As you can see, it separates much easier compared to the Defender case. So we just want to take our iPhone 14 Pro Max. Slide it inside like so. Make sure it's all around on the edges. And then we're just going to attach the exterior hard layer. Should slide into place like so nice and secure. And this is pretty much how it looks. So right off the bat, you can tell a difference in terms of the size compared to the Defender case. 
So even though we are getting that dual layer protection, again, it's not as robust as the Defender case. So in terms of, you know, max drop protection, probably not going to perform as well. But in return, you do get a slimmer profile. It's not as thick. So if you're concerned about that, this might be the happy medium to getting that dual layer protection and a nice reasonable size on the back. You can see you got your OtterBox branding right there. Take a look at the camera protection. Very similar to the Defender case. You got that nice raised edge. And let's see if we can get you a close up of the display. Again, very similar to the Defender case. You have a nice raised lip going all around the perimeter. And then as far as the buttons, you can see that they are covered. So you have your power button over there. Very easy to press, no issues. And on the other side, same thing with the volume rocker up and down. And this one actually has the switch exposed compared to the flap that we had on the Defender case. Now we do have a flap for our charging port on the bottom. So again, this is gonna help keep lint and debris out of the charging port whenever you're putting your phone in your pocket, in your purse, in your backpack, things of that nature. And then you have your accurate speaker cutouts right there as well. So really quick, let's go ahead and test out the wireless charging. So we have our wireless charging pad right there. Go ahead and set the phone down like so. And you can see it instantly starts to charge. So no issues there. Now, in terms of the overall feel, also very similar to the Defender case. But now that the hard layer is on the exterior, there are some areas that don't give you that kind of grippy feeling. So you can see, you know, around the buttons in those areas, you do have the soft shell exposed as well as these kind of ridges right here which give you some really good grip. And that's typically where your fingers are going to be. Um, so that does work really, really well. Uh, but com compared to the Defender case, the entire exterior has that rubbery grip to it. So I do like that when it comes to the Defender case compared to the commuter case. Next up, we have the OtterBox Symmetry case. And this one is gonna give you some decent protection, but it's gonna give you a very sleek profile in the process. Um, so you can see on the inside, no memory foam, no inner soft shell layer or anything like that. Pretty much just a hard composite surface. So this one is probably going to be the lowest in terms of overall drop protection. But again, the trade off is that you get a very sleek profile. So let's go ahead and install this one on our phone. Pops into place very securely, as you can see. We'll go ahead and give you a close up of the display. Nice raised edge all the way around, just like the other two cases on the back. Similar protection for your cameras as well. As far as the buttons, there you go. You got your power button right there. You also have some OtterBox branding right there as well. Over on the other side, volume rocker as well as your switch, which is exposed. And then on the bottom, you do not have a flap protecting your charging port. So only the Defender case and the commuter case are giving you the port. Um, so if that's something that you're looking for, you will have to choose between those two options. So again, overall, this one is going to be the lowest in terms of overall protection. I still think it's a really good case, um, especially if you want something that's a little bit smaller, a little bit slimmer. Um, but as far as overall drop protection, this one is going to be last in terms of all three cases. So now let's go ahead and test out the wireless charging. We've got our charging pad in place. So we'll set the phone down. And as you can see, no issues with the wireless charging. So pretty much no matter which case you pick, wireless charging is going to work very well for you. Now, as far as the feel of this case, this one, like I said, it has that hard composite type feeling basically all over the case. So it doesn't have that rubber texture um, that you kind of get with the commuter case and the defender case. So if there was one that would probably slip out of my hands first, it would probably be this case right here. So if you're a clumsy person and you tend to drop your phone a lot, this might not be the case for you. Personally, I'm pretty sure handed when it comes to my phone. Um, so I don't think this one would be an issue for me at all but I do know some clumsy people that do tend to drop their phone quite a bit. So again, if that's you, 
this might not be the option for you. So I will have the links to all of these options down in the description. Hopefully this video helped to outline some of the differences so that you guys can decide which OtterBox might be right for you.